So if I still look tired, it's because it's early, but we have a special day today, so I'm gonna get right working. Today, we're gonna start getting more dirt dropped off our property. So let me show you how it's looking right now, the before, what we're gonna be doing, and hopefully show you guys the after. Now the after might take a week because we're not getting all the dirt today. We're getting half today, maybe half later. Here is the spot that we've already dumped the sand. Well, you can see the backyard. We want to fill this whole area and lift it up a little bit with sand. As well as over here on the other side of the house. And to get prepared for that fill to come, I have to move the workshop. Now this is the first time I've had to move it since setting it up. So I hope it goes well. Everything is pretty stable inside and we're only rolling it forward a bit, so it shouldn't be a big deal. But it'll be interesting to see what happens. This is exactly why we chose a trailer as a workshop for the time being, because we knew we had a lot of work to do around the property and there's gonna be times where we have to get it out of the way. So. I'm going to roll this forward and hopefully we can get these dump trucks to just drive straight through here and dump right in the backyard. It'd be a lot less work for us. There's just always something. Always something. Here's your workout for the day. Yeah. All right. I think the dirt guy is almost here. So we have to hurry up and unhook our internet so that we can get the wire out of the way so he doesn't yank it down with his truck.
And you can see this uh, goes over to the pole there. Now we still have a power line going to the house, but that one is high enough that the truck can get under it pretty easily. The first load, this is exciting. Once again, even though we've already done six loads before, it's always exciting to get a fresh load of dirt. And as you can see, Maverick is excited too. There's something about a pile of dirt that's just pretty special. This is the beginning of something big though, because we're getting 20 loads of this, 20 times. And we're gonna fill up the whole backyard, the side yard, anywhere we can squeeze it, we're gonna put it. We decided to go big and get it done with before the rains come because summer is the rainy season here where we live. And that means we're gonna get rain daily, all summer long. And the ground is gonna be perpetually wet and soggy and muddy. If we wait too long, we won't be able to get this dirt dropped off. The trucks won't even be able to get back here. We said, let's not delay, get it all now, get it on the ground and then we don't have to struggle through the muddy, rainy season. So the plan is maybe for the first 10 loads, just stack them going forward from this part all the way up the edge of the pond here to the house. And then after we get about 10 loads back here, we're gonna try to get six loads on the side of the house. That's the starting point. The last four, we might squeeze back where we started. We'll see. You should feel this on your toes. Yeah. Well, there's load number two. Only 18 more to go. Not today, but it's a start.
Surprisingly, he got stuck. Totally random. So, so far we have one, two, three, four. This was going to be the fifth load. And for some reason, the soil just gave out. Everything was going fine. I can't even imagine. Thank gosh. It's pretty weird. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, look at you. It's it's up to your waist, basically, the hole that he yeah. Made. It's like the weirdest thing ever. Yeah. I don't know why it's like this, so deep, under all this dry soil. Yeah. Hard packed soil. That's crazy. There's so much soft mush underneath this hard ground so they're not going to be driving back here anymore but it's okay we got four good loads back here the rest they can drop off up front and off here to the side we already started a load so we got six right now six loads okay so this was a crazy day as usual things never go as you expect we were hoping to get 10 loads dropped off, that's what they said originally, but we ran into some obstacles, things took longer than expected, and that's the way it goes. We ended up getting six loads so far. I can't believe that truck got stuck like that. Picture, four loads came in fine, and on that fifth one, what I think he did was he turned kind of at an odd angle, coming down this slope right here, and it put a lot of weight on that back corner and it just sunk in. I can't believe how soft the ground is under the surface. It was just mud under there. So now they're afraid to keep driving back. They don't want to come back any further than this. It's annoying because I really wanted a lot more dirt back here, but I'll just have to move it manually, which is fine. We have the excavator, I can handle that. But that was a pretty exciting day because, you know, you never know what to expect. And even though the truck got stuck, it was kind of fun to watch them get it out. That was, Amazing how they had that tow truck with the big arm 
just lift the back end of the truck and pull it out of that hole like that. Pretty neat. It was fun for everybody to see. And now, oddly enough, that was the same guy that got stuck this time as got stuck the last time when they did dirt up in the front part. So he came here and got stuck both times. I was sure that this ground was going to be solid. Now, I wasn't going to end this video just yet. I was hoping to get all 20 loads of dirt on this video, but I think I'm going to wrap it up just because this was such a crazy event and I'm sure you guys want to see it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to close this out. I'm going to get the excavator. I'm going to start moving some sand around and get it leveled out. And I'll show you part two when we get the rest of the dirt dropped off when it comes. And that'll be later this week. You guys might hear it. It's just starting to rain right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get on the excavator and smooth out some of that pile while I can. I don't know if it's going to really come down or not, but I'm going to try to beat the rain. So thanks for watching. We'll be back soon with another video. And until next time, take care. Okay, I know it doesn't look like much, but I got the pile knocked down. That's what's important. Now we're gonna be leaving this really thick right here, really thick. So probably across the backyard, I'm hoping to get a good foot or more of sand. We'll see, we'll see if we have enough dirt to do it when all the loads get dropped off, but making progress nonetheless.